A Rochester man is facing serious charges tonight, accused of storming the U.S. Capitol during last week's violent siege of our nation's capital. 44-year-old Rochester resident and business owner Dominic Pizzola turned himself into federal authorities this morning. Pizzola is a 1995 graduate of the Aquinas Institute here in Rochester. This is his class yearbook photo. According to the criminal complaint, Pizzola was seen in the now deleted video allegedly posted to social media by Pizzola himself inside the Capitol with a cigar in his mouth during the riot and can be heard saying, quote, victory smoke in the Capitol, boys. Christian Garzon joining us now live outside the federal court building. And Christian, we're talking about some pretty serious charges for Pizzola. Adam, no doubt. Pizzola, who also goes by the name Spaz or Spazzo, is alleged to be one of the mob members who stormed the Capitol last week. And he's facing a number of charges. One of them, the top one, could land him in jail for up to 20 years with a $250,000 fine. The FBI says Dominic Pizzola, a Marine Corps veteran and alleged member of the Proud Boys group, smashed a window during the Capitol siege last Wednesday and was part of the mob inside. The entry unlawful. He has been charged with multiple counts, including the destruction of government property. Additionally, witnesses told the FBI he threatened to kill Vice President Mike Pence and other Washington leaders. Witnesses also said Pizzola and others were planning to return on Inauguration Day to kill people. Prosecutors have compared these photos of the Capitol siege and social media videos with Pizzola's driver's license photo. For this and other reasons, prosecutors are saying it is probable Pizzola committed the crimes. This is his home on Lake Ave in Rochester. Neighbors today in shock, saying they can't believe someone who would do such a thing lived so close. I'm really disappointed to hear that there's um, a terrorist living right there on Lake Avenue. Yeah. It makes me nervous. The whole thing in the Capitol made me nervous. I can't wait till inauguration day is over and hopefully there won't be any more. This is really awful that this has happened to our country and that there's someone so close to me that would think to do such a thing. I don't like that deal at all. I thought this area is a little more respectable with crying out loud with people not to be able to go up there and do the damage that they did. That was un uncalled for. Now, Pizzola is due in court next in Washington, D.C. His date of transport, though, down there is not yet known, but we're told it is, quote, soon. On State Street in Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. Meanwhile, Aquinas Institute of Rochester released a statement today in response to Pizzola's arrest, saying in part, we take great pride in instilling goodness, discipline, and knowledge in our students. We are genuinely saddened when we are informed that a graduate may have lost his or her way from these principles and ideals. Aquinas does not condone actions that lead to violence and destruction, and we pray for all parties involved. And a side note, to this, as chance would have it, the new House, the U.S. House Sergeant at Arms, Tim Blodgett, is also a graduate of Aquinas. He graduated in 1984.